Hello and welcome to the podcast on uh, writing and running a Python application on the Macintosh. This assumes that you already have JEdit installed and um, Python, of course, is already installed on Macintosh. So we'll start from uh, pretty fresh. So the uh, first thing we're going to do is we've already got JEdit installed. So I'm going to go uh, to Macintosh hard drive, applications, and then I'm going to find JEdit. JEdit. And I'm going to run JEdit. Now, trick number one in the Macintosh to make your life simple. As soon as you get one of these applications that you're going to run all the time, you hold on to the button and you say, keep in doc. And that way, when you exit this program, um, it'll, it'll come back. So I'm going to just close this. I'm going to do file, exit. And you'll notice it's gone because the little, the little, you know, little highlight is gone. But not and click it. And launch it from right there. Uh, turn off tips, of course. Hopefully, you've already got um, your. Well, I'll leave the I'll leave the navigator off for now because I make it a little bigger. Uh, let me. Make the font a little bit bigger. Okay, so there's that. So uh, <clears throat> first thing I got it. I'm gonna, I've got a new file, so I'm just going to say file new, and I'm going to print a simple, make a simple Python program. Print hello, and that's just a one-line Python program, and I'm going to save it. So I'm sort of starting a new assignment. So I'm going to say file save as. Now I've got to get into my home directory. So I'm going to go to sl slash, now you probably have a little less junk here, slash users, slash, and this I'm running on the Python account, and on my desktop, and I'm going to make a new folder on my desktop. So my desktop has really nothing here, so I'm going to say new folder. Oops, that wasn't new folder, so now i got to go back. Okay, ooh, I clicked on home to get right to my home directory. That's kind of nice. So I'm going to go to desktop, and then I'm going to add a new directory. Sorry about that. And I'm going to call it SI100. I'm going to use this for um, all of the stuff I do in my class, particular class I'm in. And then I'm going to go into that directory, and now I'm going to make another directory, and I'm going to call this uh, assignment 1. Um, assignment 01. Now I don't use spaces in my file names. I recommend that you don't use spaces in your file names. So now I am in SI100 assignment 01 and if I go on my desktop I can be in the same directory and there's nothing in there right now. Make this a little bit smaller. Put it over there. So then I'm going to save my file and I'm going to call this one you know first py, first.py. Okay, and so there we are. And so I have a thing called first.py. Now I want to run that. And you do that in the terminal. So go to Macintosh hard drive, applications, all the way down in utilities. Here's a little trick. I hit, I'm, I, I highlighted something, now I hit the U and it jumps down to the U in the list, which is kind of cool. So utilities, terminal right there. But I'm going to show you actually a slicker way to do this. You can run commands straight from this thing we call spotlight. So I'm going to say terminal and press enter and it starts the terminal program. And I'm going to also do the trick here where I keep this in the dock as well. And I'm also going to make my font a little bigger. So the key thing about the terminal is you always got to know what directory you are in. So the command to do that is print working directory. So I'm in slash user slash Python. Now to get into my desktop directory, I have to say CD desktop. And I did that. Let me do that in slow motion. CD, and I type DE tab. And at that point, it was unique enough that 
desktop was it. Otherwise, if it's not unique, the, it'll beep at you. And then if I look in desktop, I see one folder, SI100. So I'm, this is ls-l shows you the files you've got. SI100 is the fo this folder, and I'm going to change directory into SI100. And I can do ls-l to see that. And here I have assignment 01, and I want to go into that directory now, cd -A -S -S -N 01 and I'm going to use the pwd command to say, where am I? Well, I'm in users python desktop si100 asson01, and here I go. So if I do ls-l, I will see first.py. And then now to run that, I simply say python first.py, and it runs it. So let me go make some changes now. I'm going to make it say print hello there. And I'll say file, save. Okay, so I've saved it, and it's first.py, I'll run it again, python, first.py, and now I see my new version. And um, if I, one thing that's cool is I can cursor up and run old commands. So there, I cursor up once, I see my ls, I cursor up twice and I see python first.py. So now I can rerun this really fast in, in the terminal. Another trick is the command k which clears the screen. So now I can clear it and keep my screen a little bit a uh, little prettier. Okay so that basically is the trick. Now let's say for example um, we were going to want to read a text file. Um, you might download it, save it, and drag it into this folder. The key thing is it's got to be in the same folder. But I'm just going to make a text file. I'm going to say, hello there. This is a text file with a few lines in it. And I'm going to save this <clears throat> file, save as. And it's in the same directory. And I'm going to call it like um, um, fun data txt okay and so here we are I see fun data txt if I go back into my terminal program I can say ls minus l I am in that directory so I see both my Python program and fun data txt so I'm going to use the switching capability of jedit and switch back to first.py and I'm going to write some more Python so I'm going to say open, I mean handle equals open um, fun data dot txt for read. Oops. And then I'm going to print len of handle dot read. So um, handle is a sequence but it doesn't actually read the data and handle.read says read all the data as a string and len tells us if, 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 I, if I've done this right len will tell us how many characters are in this file so I'm gonna save this and so now the key thing here is is I've got first.py and fundata.txt in the same directory so I'm gonna type Python oh, I can just hit cursor up Python first.py so it read that file and it says there's 43 characters. Interestingly, my ls minus l shows that as well. Okay, and so that is the basic tips and tricks for uh, running a Python program um, under Macintosh using the terminal and using JEdit. Uh, the biggest thing that people get confused about is making sure they're in the right directory. So I'm in SI100, assignment all one, and then making sure that all the stuff that they need for this particular assignment is in the same place. Problems can occur when you, you start using file names. Um, I could make a new folder if I was going to do a, um, another. Uh, let's make it just a second assignment. So I'd create a new assignment, and I'll call print um, second. assignment and I'm going to say file save as and now I'm going to go back up to assignment SI100 and then I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this one assignment 02 
I'm going to go into assignment 02 and I'm going to call this, you know, abc.py. So now if I, I go up, I can start in my desktop or I can hit this back button to get back into the SI100 folder or I could just click on this folder here. Then I can go into assignment 2 and now I have abc.py. Now here, if I look where I'm at, I'm in assignment 1. Now there's a couple ways I can get into the assignment 2 folder. I can say cd dot dot and I'm up in the SI100 and I can go cd a s s n o2 to go back down into that assignment 2 folder. Okay, and then I can say python abc.py. Okay, second assignment. And so now I've got a nice directory structure where I've got one folder on my desktop. I've got you know each each assignment's got its folder, so I can keep these things separate, and uh, and it's uh, it's not too bad. And so that basically is the um, a, a quick way to uh, to do that. Uh, I hope you find this helpful. Oh, let me show you one more thing. Um, you can always type the cd command by itself on Macintosh and you get back to your home directory. So cd, no matter where you're at, with no parameters, says go back to home directory. So I get assign so I could go cd, then I have to go back into desktop, because I'm not in the desktop until I cd desktop. I can go into SI100, and I can go into assignment 02. And that's another way to, uh, to get into assignment 02. Okay? Thanks.